So in this video, I'm going to look at taking a solo canoe backwards or using the same strokes for actually slowing or stopping a canoe. And the first one of those strokes that I'm going to use is the reverse J. And like the J we use for travelling forwards and steering, it has the number of the elements that are the same. So we use the same blade face for power and for steering and we end up with the, the thumb on the top hand being down. So here we go. And the only difference here is that I'm actually pushing the blade outwards. In reality, I will normally lever off the, the gunwale of the boat. So there we are using the gunwale and the J-stroke. Because the boat is slightly stern heavy, sometimes it's going to push off course. And here, I'm just going to need a couple of reverse strokes come slightly sweepish strokes at the back to hold it on course. Now I need a little more steering and this is an interesting one because I want to reach further forward and I can actually slide my bottom hand up the paddle and that gives me a longer lever off the gunnel. I'm in my normal paddling position, which means that the boat is slightly bow light, but slightly stern heavy. And the issue with that in doing a lot of reverse is that the stern is going to push the boat off of course. So here's a view of the stern, and here I'm slightly stern heavy. So as we push backwards, any waver at all, and there's always going to be some, will allow the water to push more on one side than the other. And that means it's quite difficult to control. So if I want to just practice the stroke um, in its early stages, if I move forward in the boat and I've moved forward of the carrying thwart, it's raised the stern out of the water. And you notice the steering is much, much easier. And here's a view of that stern sliding very easily without the pressure build up on it. So here we are again. I'm bow heavy, the stern sliding nicely over the water, so it's easier to practice the strokes. But I have to go back to a normal trim and practice the same when I'm slightly stern heavy. I'm not going to be moving about my boat all the time, just for a few strokes. Come here. Right, go on Bill. A more powerful reverse stroke, and we're going to use both sides, is to, well, the problem straight away comes, where do we face our knees? Because in most of the strokes on our on side, we'll put our knees to that side, but the awkward part of this stroke is on the off side. So I'm going to turn my knees to the off side. That will compromise the stroke on my onside, but enable me to do the stroke better on my offside. The important thing here is on the offside, I'm actually got my thumb going outwards again, and some people liken it to a swan's neck. It feels really awkward to start with, and if you haven't moved your knees around, then it's going to be tough. And the compromise is readily seen here. The offside stroke is the one that I've, I've moved the knees for, but that really means it's awkward on my right hand side to get a vertical paddle, as I would normally do. But it works, I can still get the power in there, and if I really want to go backwards at speed or slow the boat like here, then this um, cross deck stroke is extremely powerful. A quick knee shift to the offside, quick strokes, and it's slowing me down immediately. So we use this not just for reversing, but as a slowing or stopping stroke. The natural way of doing it that a lot of people do 
and is wrong is that I come across and the top hand, the thumb, is in the middle, pointing this way. Now the problem with that, although it feels easier to start with, it has no power. Because driving the blade forward, all you're using is this motion of this arm, which is incredibly weak. If we do it the correct way, and so the thumb is out, then actually what we're driving with is the body. So although it feels awkward to start with, it's a much stronger stroke. And the trick is, move your knees to the offside, turn, and in fact when you're learning you might even turn to face your head backwards, and that will enable you to get the stroke correctly. There is another combination that we can use that's powerful, and I use it sometimes on white water, particularly when I've um, done a, a technique called check and set, where I've slowed the boat down while facing downstream, and then done a reverse ferry glide towards the side of the river, even into an eddy. And when I get in the eddy, I can use this stroke to anchor me. But here's the stroke, and it First look, it seems a little awkward. So to do this, I've actually got to turn, well I'll probably move my knees again, but I've got to turn my chest and torso to face the back of the boat, and reach there, and what would be the power face in a forward stroke is now going to be the power face in the opposite direction. So here we go. I can go into a J. Now what I've done is I've swapped power faces during the stroke. So I've started there, pulled, my thumb is on the inside, switch it over, push and into my J stroke there. One thing I didn't cover on the water, um, and it's not a preference of mine, but you've got to realise there are personal preferences within this. There are things that are standard, they work the way the body does. So doing this cross stroke like this, that's how it works. But there are some differences that are opinion. And so I can start here, and then instead of switching the blade face, if I swap my hand, on the top, I could do a palm roll and not have to switch blade face. Personally I find that awkward on white water, so I don't do it, and so that goes into all the flat water padding, but I'll show you one more time. So we start the same way, but here, instead of turning it, we rotate the top hand to go in there. Now personally I find it feels a little as if I'm losing control, but a lot of people say it's smoother, and then get more power. So you go out and experiment, make your own choice. One of the other things you do need to do while practicing your reverse, practice going to a spot or into an area. So you're going to need to get those glances back over the shoulder and that's normally when you plant the stroke. Here my attention is forward and so now a much bigger glance backwards to make sure everything's in order. When I'm doing the cross deck backwater stroke it's very easy because part of that rotation you can turn your head and you can easily see where you're going. And a final thought, stopping here is easy, I know no one's behind me, but if I use this technique to slow down on a whitewater river I'd be wise to look over my shoulder because any paddler behind me will be catching me up. If you've enjoyed this video, please click on the like button. If you'd like to subscribe, please click on the icon in the bottom right. Lean is keeping Billy entertained while we're trying to film at the same time. <laughs> he had to be in this video after the chicken in the last one.